Hey, um, we got to discuss Cameron and Mace addressing Jay Prince because oh god, I thought they dropped some real. Sh- I thought what they said was some of the realest. Sh- Why is that when they when they were doing the same thing to Shakur? And I'm gonna tell you another thing: when you're dealing with older people, they're the last to know that things have changed. We not your lord. Like the way you talk it, I don't, I don't get what you mean. Little n- have big homies. We're not little. N- so we don't even respect big homies. I know Killer doesn't. And for me, I never respected n- streets. That's why I always got the problems I got. Tell me, Maze, chill. No, chill for what? Who is this? N- That's how I feel listening to this, man. Like. I want to respect you, but I can't. Like this, if you're 60 years old mm. and you're trying to be a street n- <laughs> you failed. You failed. You failed. The same thing. They was talking about Shakur and everything, how they were getting Jay Prince staying in. Say, hey, listen, I'm his manager. Y'all come holler at me. Y'all got a problem. Y'all come holler. That's all he did. That's all he said. And pretty much. And but then, he called them little niggas or young. He called him a little nigga. That's a grown man. That nigga. That that nigga is a three time world champion. He can knock your motherfucking ass. But he's out. like twenty five. Okay, yeah. so he's so, still a little so nigga. Jay Prince called them little niggas. They little niggas to him because he older than them. But well, they all little niggas, hot damn it. No, 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 no. Yeah, Jay they're Prince is. He's like well in his. Cam season. and Mace are his peers, or you could say. No, they're not. They, no, they are no, peers. They're, they're, they're peers. our peers. Jay Prince is. Jay Cam, Prince is like oh, that's like dad, my uncle, like nigga. His, like he's like an uncle. Daddy. Like how they call me OG yeah. out here. If I see Jay, what up, OG? Like yeah. I would call that nigga OG. Right, exactly. So he 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 did he, he did the same peer. he did the same thing what they did with, to Shakur. Well, May said he's not their little niggas. Well, th- just like that's fine. Just that's because fine. he's a grown that, man, he he doesn't consider himself a little. It's nigga. like so that's the same energy that Mace need to keep when he addressing another grown man. You call him a little nigga. You feel what I'm saying? So somebody older than you called you a little nigga. Like I said last week, I don't recall ever knowing Mace be a tough guy. He, he, he he's said never that. he's never he literally he, said that he, he said his issue is he's he he's always had issues with street niggas because he doesn't respect street niggas okay well see he doesn't respect them, but he damn sure it's talk not about the it. tough guy thing it's the way that they came yeah we have know, a they, second camera pointed at they, you they came out of more some grown man is like you know really man. you call another grown man a little nigga but that's not but that's not it what they're saying right, is you got mad it, because you didn't like the take that he no gave. no no you use a term you call him a little nigga you call a champion no, a little said, nigga what he said was y'all were talking to them like they were your little nigga that's what they said mm-hmm. I, I listened to it a couple of times right. he never called when he said y'all are talking to us like we're your little niggas that's when he said listen little nigga because that's how he was talking to them that's not they weren't calling him a little nigga and for jay prince like i said my whole thing is leave it alone they right everybody has their opinion on this situation yeah it's Y'all an opinion mad. they're not right there that's their but, opinion but, but a lot of people share that opinion opinions just are like, like assholes just, just like a lot of opinion just like a lot of people share my opinion that with shakur steve's and doing for starters like i said Everybody talking, they're not even, they're not paying attention. Number one, when. But you going into this rant about what should stop. But yes, it's No, let Branson explain. No, what you're getting ready to do is go into this rant about what Shakur. It's not a rant. That's that's But you keep stopping me. What you're getting ready to do is tell me that Shakur Stevens has won three time champion, all that. Mm -hmm. That's great. Right. He's a champion. That's great. You don't dress a champion. Bro. What what, what man addressed another champion as a little. Bro. Bro. Well, all wait. they said was the he's born. That's all they said. It's an opinion. It's still a, it's still a disrespect. I don't care what nobody. What's said. disrespectful sound, about okay, it? Okay, listen, bro. Number one, Mace is not a fucking boxer. Number one, he don't even know what the, he don't even Why know the, the, the because he don't know how he sounds because he's sitting here saying it. What Why does that what me? does that have to do with them boxing or not? They're it watching gets, it stop. They're watching it, so yeah. they see what they see. If they're okay. watching it and they say it's boring, then they see it's boring. Okay, well, we talk about niggas who don't even work out, so what the fuck? They can't even what go. What does that they, got to do it, with it the price of tea in China? Listen, it has a lot to go with it. When you want to put an opinion on something, must have knowledge of what you're talking about. They don't have no knowledge what the fuck they talk about. First of all, first of all, number one, for somebody who has practiced that sport, 
none of you niggas can last one round. Nobody is saying rounds. anything so like you that. Have, you on, you get hold, hold on, hold on. When you when casuals talking about something they have no knowledge about, that's the whole. Can I ask you? Thing. I got one question for you. We've been watching boxing how long? Thirty years, maybe. Mm-hmm. So you can't say that so they don't got, know what so, they're talking so about. Yeah, We've been watching right. boxing matches for years. Niggas, I'm gonna tell you why. Because niggas got they got boring when Tyson was knocking motherfuckers out in the first round. That Somebody wasn't boring. boring. That wasn't boring. It. That's the fuck they did. That wasn't boring. That's the fuck they did. Because the motherfuckers didn't even it hurt pay per view sales. Motherfuckers wouldn't even buy pay per view. That's they a know, lot. They, they were still the buying pay per views. They were still buying pay per view. Right. We just knew we had to get to the fight early because Mike was going to be done early. Nobody was. Yo, you had you had Mike Tyson fans and, and boxing purists want to see Tyson because he knocked him out. But Arab, the average Joe was not buying them pay per view fights when they know it didn't last long. That's the reason why Floyd came up with he did. I don't know what he's talking the about. What you mean you don't know what he, I'm talking about? Because if you the, watch boxing for thirty hold on, years, nigga, you know slow what I'm down, slow down. Yeah, yeah, I but do that because make any sense. it does make sense. You talking about because easy. you're yelling Wait, at me? You, you, because you're all, yelling at me. My, first of all, <laughs> if you let me finish my point and stop trying to be a smart ass, you will, I can educate you on some Go. shit. Go number yelling, one. Though. The nigga said he got pillow hands. Them same. Pillow hand will knock every last one of these niggas in here. Both of them niggas out. The fact that ma- hold on. The fact of the matter is what people's not understanding is everybody talking about his fights boring. I seen two of his fights, two of them live. The nigga can fight, bro. I didn't you know say he saying? couldn't fight. I'm what, just no, saying he's I'm bored. Saying is, hold on, bro. This is like any any athlete. If you don't have a contract signed to where you got money lined up, you're not going out. He that last fight was his last fight for can, top can, rank. Can, can, so, can, can, can I can I just say something? Because see, ahead, this is my thing. Entertainment is like. Remember the Prince. The Prince was super entertaining. Bro, ain't nobody, ain't nobody what, what, entertaining. What, stop, no stop. Can, can, no can, 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 can I That's finish what I'm saying? saying. You gonna speak on uh, it. Speak uh, on uh, it. Everything. He ain't gonna let me finish, is he? I'm just saying, entertaining. Roy Jones Jr. was entertaining. Who was the white kid? The white kid that um 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 Manny. Morrison? Manny's in Manny's oh. entertaining. Who was the um white guy that fought Floyd? That Floyd beat Floyd beat everybody know, but Mickey Ward was it? Something like he he's yeah. entertaining. Canelo, Canelo, he's entertaining. Like there Do not Canelo get money though. Every fight he I'm fucking just get, giving he you get money. I'm so just, he's got no choice but to fucking be entertaining. Shakur Stevenson, that was his last fight for uh, top rank. What? So it was. It was his last uh, <laughs> last fight under top rank, meaning he's a free agent. So this like is any definitely other, so a like, rant. So like any other goddamn uh, uh, athlete, if you don't have that con- a long-term contract signed so where you can go out there and perform, you're not going gonna to do but so much. So they, I'm going to give you an example. They brought up, uh, uh, Mace brought up Abdullah Mace. Right, talking about how action packed he was, and like I was explaining to my homie, I said the difference is them niggas hungry. They just now getting in the game. Shakur is established already. You feel what I'm saying? All he mm-hmm. waiting on his first big fight. Just last year, niggas was talking about how Tank ain't fight nobody. Tank ain't doing this, this. He got two fights now. Tank is the face of boxing. That's all Shakur is saying. Put me, put somebody in front of me worth fighting, nigga, and I can show y'all what I can do. But, so all this, all this. But shit this is about, the thing. Can man, I? Can listen, I? Ain't nobody can, fucking but here does it matter who you're, so you're fighting? Fighting down. So you know, he ain't fighting that. He did so, just enough. No, no, so, he did but, just but enough. But so whose fault is it that you're not entertaining? Because you're sitting here explaining why he's not entertaining us because you're trying to get was, this contract. What I said was okay, nigga. You ain't going to work if they ain't paying you no fucking money. I don't give a fuck how you, I don't give a damn how dedicated to you are to your job. If that check ain't coming in, you ain't going to, you're going to do with so much. But if That's they're, anybody. But, but if they're going to pay you big That's money, anybody. but can I they're ask not you? paying him. I just said that was his last, that was his last he's fight on the top finish, rank. He? So he's a free agent. If he, agent. but what I'm saying is, so if you know that your, your thing's getting ready to go up, don't you want to go out with a bang and stuff no. that way? No, because it, what y'all not, what you missing is. Outside of these two fights that everybody's talking about, his last two fights, he had TKO. He knocked both of them niggas out. That's how short-term, that's how short-term memory niggas get. They forget about it. Out of his last four fights, two of them was TKOs, and the other one he won by two of them won by decision. So the last two he won by decision, what the you're saying. The last two he won by decision. And this and is the a- last, and out of four fights. 
He got two TKOs and two decisions. And this is a what have you done for me lately, though, thing. What bruh, have you like done I for said, me lately? Bruh, so, again, as is, since, since it's his body, since it's his career, he moved that shit how he want to. That's the whole thing. He not moving for the fans. The fans don't cut that check to a degree. Boy, you crazy as hell. Because, you no, they don't. I'll tell you why. If the promoters don't put them out there to where they can fight, the fans can't do a goddamn thing. Why are we waiting on a lot of damn fights that we haven't seen yet? Boy, that sounds crazy. It, bro, the fans bro, are who pay you your thing. Right now. You don't the make fa- sense. How the am I not making sense? Listen, if the fans the don't fans show up, how are you going to get paid? If the promoters don't put the fight out, the fans don't make a goddamn that difference. That means the fans don't want to see it. They're not going to pay for fans, it. How, what you mean? If the, the fans like you, they're going to come see bro, you. That's what you get paid this for. Why, this is why I say, everybody, if you, if you follow boxing, right? He went down a whole top 10 in his damn division last year saying, let's get a fight together. Every last one of them ducked him. Every last, from Haney to Cambosa and them. Now, all of a sudden, oh, uh, we got, we have, <laughs> we got somebody who career, he, uh, he's, Pretty much a one hit wonder. We only know about Mace because of uh, because it got don't here. don't don't Bro, play I'm Mace. Going to. Don't, I'm play going Mace. To. don't play I'm Mace. Going to, nigga. Don't play Mace. Don't play Mace. How old are you? Because at the one time Mace was one of the biggest rappers around. Really? Was he? I can't, I don't remember he was the biggest rapper around. Duh, duh, no, duh. No, I don't remember duh, Mace was the biggest duh, rapper duh. around. Mace was big. Man. Duh, like, you can't. Duh, yeah, like Mace you, was big you get up he here was, talking Mace crazy was big because he was attached to Biggie, nigga. When he was by himself, huh? tell me, what? Yeah, you what? Bought, you bought any Mace's album? Have, yes, I bought his first album. His first baby one. first two. How, how many albums did Mace come out? Who cares? Himself? When Mace you dropped, you're saying he wasn't a big rapper. No, nah, baby. If you, if you talk You're about saying career, Mace like wasn't that, a big rapper. Mace was a big rapper. I'm not, that's worth talking about. How many albums? You asked me Mace when. Really you asked ask me moment, when yo. was one, Mace one a album. big rapper, one and I said, album. "But his fucking career is all that, nigga. Fucking Shakur Stevenson career is bigger than his." The fuck you talking about? The only reason why motherfuckers Boy, know you, Mace is because of goddamn, like I because said, because of his leg work. Because what leg where he got one album? You're talking Bro, about albums, but, but see, what about all the you're, songs, you're talking, the tracks? You're talking Not crazy, the see? Oh, you don't, man, y'all watering down. Battles, so, all that. Hold on. No, 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 no. So, stop. All that so, goes, so, what all about, that. so what about people like Big Daddy Kane? No, no, no. All that. What about one, that, that's cool. album after no, album after juggernaut. album? But that ain't Those got... Niggas, yes. But, but so how, juggernaut. You're not, so how is y'all saying You're not understanding what we're saying. Mace was a huge rapper when he first came out. He wasn't no just anybody rapper. This the same... Listen. Listen, uh, listen, Harlem listen. Harlem World. Yes. Uh, uh, it will, okay, all right. Tell me all what right. you want from me. Like, you're playing Mace. You're playing Mace. One album. So you telling me one album, that put him weird. Is that is that the Lauren Hill effect? Lauren what, say, Hill. Say, no, say, fuck, say, no. Mace Lauren had Hill, more hits. Lauren Hill got, she got, she <laughs> was, How many she albums has Lauren Hill got? She with the Fugees, bro, so you can't do that. She got she got music with the Fuji. He's part of Children of the Corn. If you want to do that, like come, oh, come on, on, come man. on, man. You can't use Children. Of the corn. Why can't? Yeah, man, go ahead, bro. You you. Mace, Mace is I on the Harlem. Opinion, Mace is man. on the Harlem album, and Mace he was a big star when he, he came out. Star. Like he was. Like I don't know he where was a this is. Superstar co- because of Biggie passed. It's no because. That's it's, what. It's that, no because. That no, he wasn't. Are you serious? I'm dead ass Bruh. serious. Man, listen. Let me give you something. Let me tell you who else came out that same year. Mace came out. I uh, pick any of them. Yeah. All Bad Boy came out about the same time. I know they got more than one fucking album. We but still, that has nothing 95. to do with the exactly. album. So take your it has nothing to do up. with the album. Fuck it has to do with who he. Yeah. What's his name? Mob Deep, nigga. Mob Deep. They got fucking how many albums? At least five of them. Okay. At least five. That we talk about every last one of them. Mace got one, and you talk That's about it. his career was what. His wow. shit, only reason why we talk about it, You said that he wasn't a star. And I said, you're wrong. He was a big rap star. He wasn't just a star. He was a huge rap star. So you're not he's giving Mace his, pra- he, he's his a, props. Bruh. So he's he's featuring on Biggie's tracks. He did He did one joint with Junior Mafia. All you got to do is say you don't like him. I, it's not about liking him. It is. No, it no, is. it's not. Because you're what trying to. What I said was. You're discrediting hey, listen, him. Bro, That's I what you're doing. Hey, listen. I understand. <laughs> That's all that. You have a hard time keeping shit in perspective. What I said was, you said one fucking what album. What perspective? You said, I, you you said, said who is Mace? You, what I, exactly. I said who And I said he was Mace. one of the biggest rappers no, no, at one time. And you keep saying no, no and wrong. you're wrong. No. 
you That's saying? an opinion, You're, nigga. Okay, is, do you have the same opinion? That's y'all do you, the same opinion. Dub, do you have the share, same uh, opinion? Opinions well, are like assholes. Hey, you know what? Okay. Put a fucking poll up on this shit. Put a poll up on this shit. And I guarantee you, hey, motherfuckers I will not say he was a fucking... What y'all he say? was a, a superstar. superstar. I say Mace was not Mace a, was superstar? a superstar. No, he was at one point. Was so was you're telling superstar. all three of us I that he know, wasn't a superstar. I don't give a fuck if it's twenty of you niggas. If I say he wasn't, nigga, he wasn't. That That's, nigga was a. Again, nigga, I give him a and star. Again. I give him a star. It's just an opinion. I get, you're, you're right. You're it's yelling my at opinion. us like it's going to change. He's, you're not you're intimidating not, me and by you're yelling. You're not changing my opinion. He said. He just sat right here and said, "So you mean to tell me it's three of us? I don't give a fuck if there's a hundred of them. If I said this, if if I said a nigga." He ain't. He ain't. And I got. You want to discredit him? Just like you got. That's why I asked the man put a goddamn poll up, and we can. We and if if the other hundred people, like you said, say that Mace was a superstar, I said he ain't. Shit. I still don't Like I said But one that's album, your dog. That's one. your uh, And that's one. cool But one. it's not off the music one. Mace wasn't all about music Mace wasn't all about he was music fashion. He was fashion too He brought the pretty boy oh, now, rap now, to the now, game Now y'all too. wanna bring Nigga we was talking about career it, so, uh, so That's part of the so, career What are you talking so about please, Okay so With the, the so shiny suits are, So describe What Who bought them I did. That was Diddy. That was Diddy and Mace. Okay, so and with their backs to each other, with the bright lights in the hallway. The culture you so, always so talk again, about with Kendrick that, and stuff right. like so that—that's that, part of the culture so again, too. You're right. What are we? Missing? I'm not even questioning that. So what I'm saying is, you once again prove what I'm saying. He's attached to Biggie. He's attached to Diddy, and he got one fucking that was album. The label. But what's that matter? His name still is big. His He's name, still big. So what I'm saying is, you put his career. As, as Shakur Stevenson career, Shakur Stevenson career is is a lot more established. No, I would at, at, at the same age, at his, the same age as he as Shakur Stevenson is now, is as Mace was, he's age. more established. Yes, I wouldn't say that. I, I, I wouldn't say facts, that, nigga. What, how old is how old is Shakur Stevenson? And then like twenty twenty five. So like you're 20, telling me at that when like Mace that, was the same when Mace, age, when Mace was twenty three, when he had just shit, blown up. So and what? he was one of the most popular rappers if in the world. Put, if you put Mace at his top of the game when he was 23 and Shakur Stevenson right now, Shakur Stevenson is beat him. Remember, we're talking about features with Biggie, feature with Diddy, and one album. This man here got three world champions and a silver medals in, in, in the Olympics. Let that just sit out there. Aren't for those a minute. two entirely different? But what paths? does that have no, to do with just, stop? See, but what's that got to do with his, go. his? No, no, no. 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 What, what I'm trying to move? say. Hold on, hold on. His hold name. On. I said career. Hold on. hold on, hold on, hold on. Slow down, Tito. Good goddamn. Damn, Tito, slow down. <laughs> Can y'all just slow down for a minute? Yeah. Breathe. I'm breathing. I'm chill. Both of y'all sound wild right now. Yeah, we do. Yeah. Or just say like just going back no. and forth. No. We're supposed to be a calm. This supposed to be a calm. Hey, I'm not man. saying it's supposed to be calm either, but okay. y'all, some of the points that y'all are trying to make stick ain't. I, I must say, I say career. I Dude, say career. We're talking about this is what 20, 2024? Yes. Mace hasn't had a song since the nineties. Right. Maybe. Exactly. Yeah. And, but the, 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 the same funny, year he came on. out. The funniest thing about this is, <clears throat> why is this nigga still relevant then? Why he's relevant? Hold on, let me, Who? Let me hold on. He got hold a on. podcast. Why is this nigga still relevant in Did today's he? age if he was never a superstar or not even a superstar, a he's star? He's attached to people. Or, you proving my or, point. That's why he's relevant. The same why niggas he was attached to. Relevant, he was attached to Cam. He was attached he's to Diddy. Diddy. And he was attached to Big. Come his, on, he, his attachment is more to so Cam his, than me. Listen, bro. Standing by his, his attachment remember, is more to Cam than me. Remember, this is the same confused that went from. Nigga, I ain't confused. You're talking about he's more I'm attached to Puff confused. than Cam? To me, he's what more attached to, to Cam than he is Puffy. By far. How so? Please what do you explain mean how so? When he's on, how, you telling me he's You on, remember him and Diddy were beefing. Stop. What? Hardcore beefing Say just what? to get his shit back. He was on. If he Mace and Diddy if were beefing heavy. Diddy, you wouldn't even know nothing about him. That's a lie. That's a lie. That's, that's, that's a lie. You, so, you ain't know nothing about Time out. On, bro. You, what would you tell a hip hop so head he's not going to know nothing about him? See, if you stop yelling, if you stop yelling, what was Cameron's first song? Wasn't it Horse and Carriage? Who was on Horse and Carriage? Mace. 
So hold so, on. Uh, no, 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 no. Before, whoa, whoa. before he was so on. Stop, was stop, out, stop. So who, no, fuck before that. He was out with before, Diddy for the Diddy money. Was out well before, 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 the before, before he got on this hot streak that we're talking about with Mace, he was known for horse and carriage with Cameron. Am I correct? Yeah. Thank you. So he's more associated Cameron than he is the Puffy to really? hip hop head. Well, he was. You children said yes. Of the corn. He yes. Children of the corn, then horse, horse and carriage. And carriage then and he blew the up with yes. Puffy in them. Went, and that's why I'm trying to get you to understand. He went to Diddy for the money. Everybody knows this. He needed that signing bonus to further his career. So and again, that's where the superstar part comes so, in. So, at. Well, so but then all again, that shit started crumbling quickly. And then you get all the other stories, Atlanta Mace, and all that from there. Mm -hmm. But like Buddha said, how is he still relevant twenty years later? Because his name star. still Him rings. And Cam made themselves relevant they on because podcast. their names ring. Their names ring on a podcast, yes. bro. Because they podcast. used to be. Some of the world they ain't making no they, ain't making they don't music. have because they've graduated from music to they, another avenue. Not, That's what rappers do. They, Smart before rappers, they, before, before, most rappers you know are not, not rapping you're twenty not years that. into their before career. This goddamn, before this fucking podcast, you ain't fucking talk about no goddamn mace because the nigga supposed to be a goddamn pastor. Last time we checked, but, we, you, you, know, but you still knew what he. Man, but you check still check knew what he was doing, though, right? right? The fucking money. You still knew what he was doing, right? Ooh, I didn't know what the fuck. You he was just doing. said he was a pastor. I knew that after he decided he made a damn announcement saying he leaving uh, hip hop to be a damn pastor. That is true. So he made that announcement. So, but the still, same but, but, but the same person, the same person we didn't know start. about, the same person we didn't know about, or want to be a born again. He don't even know what the, what the fuck he wants. That to has nothing to do does, with. Bro, what does that have to do with who got he a lot is? To do with it. That just means you're you do know who he is, what he used to do. And you basically followed him up until this point now, and Who now you're like, him I'm discrediting this. You nigga. just told Who us everything. You did. He, he was a you. rapper, a pastor, and now I he's a podcaster. He made, I said he made it when I found out. When everybody, when you found out, no, when he decided, I'm known for a long time. About, bro? Everybody knew when the fuck he decided to say, hey, I'm checking out a bad boy. I'm decided that was news. That was culture news. So I don't want to hear that shit. You knew it because why was it news though? He what, said what, it. No, but what he made said it. it what made it so much of a big deal? Why was it such of a it big deal? It wasn't a big deal to me because, like I said, but I didn't to listen you, to him like that. But to you, that's cool. But why was it a big deal to everybody else then? That's that's you didn't know, like I said. Then it's a numbers game, then, bro. Because it's not a it's not a it's not a one sided thing. Because everybody didn't find that. Everybody, nigga, I don't give a fuck. Everybody didn't find this nigga a motherfucking like that. Like I said, nobody didn't do you, that. Buddha said you try to discredit Mace. Hey, what nobody you did. tried to discredit Mace. Mace is what, what, bigger the whole, than the whole you're part giving of the him credit for. Was, they sat there, told another grown man, talking about he was a little nigga. Then another grown man older than them said, hey, you little niggas got a problem. You come holler at me. Then they had a problem with that. What? That's all I'm just saying. The way he said it was in a threatening way. And so they came back at it like, who handles business like that Bruh. in this day and time when Man. you're 50 or 60? Like he said, you, you, don't talk, you, do. you, don't you don't want to be a You don't want to be a post. You they sat there and just, they sat there and was disrespectful to a fucking three time champion. And then his manager. Because they said he wasn't. He he was born. He was, they were they were being disrespectful. You know, outside of outside of saying he was born. When you start saying the nigga hands his pillow, that's disrespectful. They said that was the nickname that had been given. They didn't come up with that. They said that that was the nickname that they bruh, heard people bruh, call him. Bruh. That's okay, all. Okay, so if you want to if you want to be the bullhorn and speak for a motherfucker, then wear that shit. So he said it. So the man didn't like it. So he said something back. So That's what? It. So what? You gonna go fight Kevin Mace now? Because they the said fuck? something hey, you ain't hey, like. Said that nigga boy. Hey, they talking shit. He talking shit back. That's all he doing. He talking. They talking shit. He talking shit back. The fact of the matter is, any 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 we old heads, we know what time it is. You you disrespecting a young buck. They gonna get at you. Just like when you was young, when the old head disrespected you, you felt like this you ain't had, this ain't that era. You, you, you who's moving the goalposts? What are you going to do to Cam and Mace? Like you going to get back at him? How? They, what the fuck? They you going to call him names? They, they, gonna do they, to him? they did what so they nobody's said. Nobody's doing nothing. They Everybody's said, talking they shit. They said what they said, and they're pointing stuff. He said, what the fuck he said? You're boring. He said what the fuck you're he mad, said. You're mad. You're mad. They money. They getting money. So what the fuck the issue is? Okay. They still going to check in. What? They check still gonna check who? in. Every time he fucking fight, they still gonna look. Yeah, book it. 
Because they need it for content for the goddamn podcast. Yeah. You know what's funny? You know, they were the ones really promoting the fight, and they watched the fight, the and that was their the assessment the of the fight. The fight is over. <laughs> they were the ones hyping the fight they up the before it started. It. Like, they were really. They were really the ones hyping, hyping it up. The whole thing. And then where, they were disappointed. That's mm-hmm. all they were saying, like, yo. That's mm-hmm. fine. But I see, like I said, again. I should have been more entertained by the again, fight. Again, boxing. Again. Boxing is an art, okay? It's not always coming in slugging that shit out. Sometimes, nigga, yeah, if we've you can't seen hit, money. You can't we've hit seen me. money fight for if years. you can't hit me, nigga, you can't hit me. That's Why the fuck I got to risk if, even more if, risk if, when a nigga can't if hit that, me? If that's the way, that don't make sense. If that's the way you want to go about your career, that's fine. And it's but, fine. But it's going to be critiqued. You're going to be and critiqued get, for how you handle no, it. You now, if you can't. Go ahead. You're right. That's just like Floyd. Floyd has never lost. What's my ever. man name? What's but my man name? what's Floyd's critique? Floyd gets critiqued. He's never Floyd lost. Floyd is considered boring. And, okay. And, 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 and what? What's your do point? people Ennis, still do? Boost in is for last week. Let his hands go. We'll get hit. Niggas was complaining. Damn, Boots, you that Shakur came out. See, look, damn. First, you tell a nigga to let his hands go. When you let his hand, when you let your hands go, that means there's more of a risk. You're gonna get hit. That's you're, what it is. You're boxing. So, you get hit when no, you, you box. No, you don't. Boxing. See, again, see, that's how you know you're a casual. You don't know. Boxing is when you when boxing is about scoring points, bro. How many times I can hit you and how less you can hit me. Get but out of the way. But you still get hit though, right? Every now and then, he didn't get his. If you saw that fight, you saw. So you're saying you get hit because you're every boxing. Every now and then, if you're good enough, like Floyd and him, you don't get hit. <laughs> But he like I said, you. you compared him to Floyd. I said Floyd's biggest said, knock I is he's him, boring. I just gave two examples of two people who has who has boxing te- technical skills where you can't hit them. So they don't have to take the risk of trying to knock you out, especially dude in that particular fight, he was running. Shakur was really chasing him down. Mm-hmm. Can I ask you a question? That's how I know can I can I ask you a question? I, I watch boxing, if but this is my did, question to you. Okay. This is my question to you. Mm-hmm. Would you rather see twelve rounds, Lord God, if they went fifteen, or would you rather see five good rounds and somebody 12, get? Oh, let me finish. Twelve and and see five and somebody get cleaned. Which one? Twelve. 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 What, what would you take? Uh, twelve. Twelve. I want to see somebody get their clock clean. I'm not I want to see somebody get clean. Go watch MMA. That's what you watch. And that's why that's why MMA see, is hey, taking that's over boxing. This, that's the sport is. MMA is all about who going to knock who the fuck out first. You're going to slug it out. Boxing is different. Boxing, the art of boxing is I hit you, you try to hit me. That's I would think that's you MMA to too, though. Me, I, you hit, or if you do hit me, I'm counting That's not your MMA? Hit. Say what? That's not MMA? Isn't that fighting I in general? It, I would no, think MMA, that's fighting. MMA is straight up combat the meaning there is some skills to it but a lot of times but you don't want it somebody out. but you, you don't want to get hit either though right eight. you don't want to get hit either you though right four ounce gloves versus eight what's that mean it's a lot nigga four i understand ounces. but I, four ounces you're gonna feel i still that don't want to get hit my though goddamn knuckle hitting your ass i still don't want to get hit by the four or the eight the, 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 the i don't want to get hit on if you get hit one time with a four ounce glove connecting Versus an eight ounce, it's a big difference, bro. But I'm just saying, you don't want to get hit in either That's sport. That's not the point. The point is the eight ounce no, glove. No, that is the point, too. The point, <laughs> no. The point no, that, is, nigga, the eight ounce glove is, is a lot bigger than a four ounce. So if you hit somebody with a four ounce, you're more likely to get knocked the fuck out. But what I'm saying is you, in either boxing or MMA, mm-hmm. you're you're still not trying to get hit. You're not trying to get hit. You're, you're not trying, trying to, to get hit. And you're trying to make sure you're not is, the one on the mm-hmm. mat. You want to get points as well. the difference is in boxing, you get points for jabbing, contact. If you jab, or you you can throw like he won the fight before. He won with one hand, straight jabbing the dude. And this is this is another thing I have a problem with. See, you you're about this points and stuff like that. See, if you get somebody get knocked the fuck out, I ain't got to worry about the point well, see, system that's what I'm saying. because you're the point system already going to be so kind of iffy not anyway. A box enthusiast, that's the whole thing. You're not. Because a box enthusiast, it doesn't matter if a nigga gets knocked out or not. It's the art of it. The art of it in that particular fight, dude could not hit Stevenson. He was sitting right there as he throwing uh, 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 multiple combinations, Stevenson blocking it. Stevenson chasing him down because when he hurt him, when Stevenson, every time he combo his combination him and he hurts him, dude runs. Stevens chasing him down. 
Why I'm going to tire myself out? Because that's what the fuck you would do. Chasing the motherfucker down. I'll, I'll corn his ass, cut him off, throw the punches I need to throw. It. Now, within the fight, he had a couple of technical issues. The reason why he couldn't throw the many punches he should. Like, for instance, when every time dude, when he was up in the pocket, dude threw a combination, he did a jump back step. He jumped back too far to where he couldn't throw his combination. See, only a real boxing enthusiast know that shit. Casual just look at, oh, he ain't throwing his hand. He ain't letting his hands go. It's technical quality of issues and angles and stuff that you have to perform. And see, this so is you just, so this, you can get that this, knockout. This, this is, this, and see, this is where the fan thing comes into it, which you don't really care about the fans. Like you said, fuck the fans. But see, this is where the fan thing comes into it because see, if I think you're exciting, I'm going to buy, I'm going to buy your event because I think you're exciting. I think you're worth it. But if you're sitting here telling me, well, he's just going to hit him and then he's going to do this most of the fight, so he don't get hit. I'm probably not going to buy the fight because it, it doesn't even sound like it's going to be entertaining. But let me tell you why you're going to. Let me tell you why. Regardless, you're going to buy the fight. You know why? Because it's called an undercard. So whoever's under that undercard is excited, nigga. You're going to buy that fight and you're going to watch it. Why so am I buying a bro, fight for fifty seventy five dollars for? I'm about to school you on the art of business. The people you don't even on listen. the I'm about undercard. To you on the art of business, and you don't want to listen. You, you're talking about the art of business. He just we're just talking about fans. Stuff. You, as fans. I, so, nigga, let me let me slow it down for you. You're not slowing yeah, anything. I am going to slow it down for you. I'm going to slow it down for you. So, you got somebody. Bumps. You got somebody. <laughs> you don't even know what the fuck he's going to do. You assume it, it's going to be a boring fight. But just like that undercard, you have Abdullah Mason. You have fucking uh, uh, Davis on that card. So, if you spend 50 to $75 to see the fight, not because of the main person, because of everybody else up under it. You're going to watch the main one, too, by default, because why? You paid for it. So even if he's not it, whoever's under that undercard, you still going to buy it. But this is my thing. What made me buy it? It wasn't the fighters fighting on the undercard. Five, six, seven. It, 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 it yes, was, they did. Yes, you did. If you're a boxing enthusiast, you knew about, you knew about Abdullah Mason. Hassan. That's what Hassan. Hassan. Get you that nigga, Hassan. That nigga Hassan. Has Hassan. Back. I'm telling you for me. You for don't me to, know, bro. Just for me. No, 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 no. I get it. For Thank me, you. if I buy anybody's Pay for view. I'm buying it for the main event. Okay. I'm not buying it because oh gosh, the second undercard fight is going to be amazing. No, I bought it for the main event. I didn't buy it for the undercard. Okay. That's so you prove. So you prove that's that why you, just like even so when they did the wrestling proved, and all that and other stuff. That's a casual move because anybody who watched boxing outside the main event, that's what fans. You're going to watch fans too. No, if that's you what go, fans hey, do. bro, if you're going to watch the fight at a at a boxing match at a boxing ring live, right? Outside that main person, you looking at who's on the undercard as well. No, I do. I, I don't do. care that's really true. who's that's on the undercard. It. So it's, sign, the same, it's the same this analogy. This is the part you're missing. No, this is the part you missing. How are, no, it's how, the same analogy. You when want everybody it on to? TV. How you want everybody to be? A, I don't want boxing, everybody to shit. You want it's common sense, to bro. Be what you mean you don't want everybody shit? They're not listening. Like you. What but I, they're it's not. not they're just nothing. casual fans who appreciate But sport. is it that I'm where the money comes that, from? I just sat right here and said, even if you don't agree with who's the main card, those who know boxing, right? But what about the ones who don't? I, I see now you want you want to interrupt me. You want to hear me? But out? that's where your money's you're coming on. from. Nobody's you're not, interrupting you. You're not making sense. I am making sense. No, you're not. First of all, the only I'm person business, you're so making sense to is other aficionados. That's the only people you're making sense to. And I, I'm gonna let you talk. I know because you haven't let anybody finish your point I have yet. Let him point but the point. only as as I don't like people I said, that you're, you're making sense so. to are like you're saying the boxing enthusiasts. But as far as a regular, just a fan, somebody who just watches the sport for fun, just on occasion, mm -hmm. if they say I have this person and this person fighting, who the fuck are they? I don't know. But if you're saying the main event is this person versus this person. Conor McGregor versus Floyd Mayweather. No, that, that sold okay, me the so, fight. So, so <laughs> me, I'll give you a prime example of that. I don't know who the fuck was on that undercard. Don't care. I but miss I miss every single you. one of them. Shit. But I know who the main event was. Who I watched the main one. Casual. And I bought casual it for. So like let, let, let me ask you a question. Where do you think your fans. money comes from? That's the point. The aficionados ain't paying the money right, for box. Stop. Stop. Listen, See, there you go. There you go. What you talking about? There you go. What that you shit mean? don't make sense. You buying a fucking. So Sony. hold on. You telling me you're buying a fucking uh, a boxing a boxing match 
or MMA for one fucking person. Let me, let me let me let me bust it. Yes, yes, or no? yes, yes. 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 That's, that's what I told you. That's like okay. So boom, if you're going to make X amount of dollars from just the aficionados. Maybe 10, but if the casuals, because the casuals where you make your money at, the people who just wander in and see it, oh, I want to put my money on this. That's where your excess money f- comes from. You want to impress the casuals, as you so-called call yep, them. exactly. Because that's where your money comes from. So as a businessman, you should know that you're trying to bring in as many so stop, as, stop. Uh, no, ain't no stop. You're None trying to bring in as many outside people. Outside the main car, outside the main car, you got other So boxes. you're not trying to bring in as many people as possible to right. watch this event. So if that's the case then, if that's the case then, right? When they have a boxing event, right? They'll have or boxing event, you can do MMA, fucking wrestling, nigga. Fake shit. They will have that main event, that one event, that's all they selling. You know goddamn well ain't nobody it, yeah. if that's all they was that's all they was putting out there, nobody's buying that. That's why the undercard that's is crazy. important. No, it, no, it's As not crazy. As the children would say, that's cap. It's not crazy. That's big cap. That's not crazy. That, that's big cap. That's my, not my crazy. homie in Chicago say that's bad. Okay. That's big cap. Nigga, ain't nobody buying no motherfucking nobody buying no damn uh no seventy five dollar or fifty five dollar pay per view yes, for do. one person bro One let me fight. let me let me run something down for you i'm no, gonna just stop slow, down, slow down slow down I so slow down. i'm gonna run down. some i'm gonna run something by you real quick wrestlemania you know i'm a huge wrestler like, right. so roman reigns and cody rhodes were the main event mm-hmm. for wrestlemania yep. 40 they were the main event that's what sold all their tickets mm-hmm. now they had a, an impeccable undercard but everybody knew roman reigns name and everybody knows cody rhodes name you those are the two the undercard did you knew the undercard? Who was on the undercard? I watch wrestling. Yeah. Did you? Thank you, nigga. But so you proved my fucking but point. But when I watch boxing, thank you. I don't You're give a casual a f- in boxing. But you need you my just money. Prove it. But I don't need your money, bro. You so where do you? What are you, you doing it for? I'm gonna tell you why. Because <laughs> let me tell you something, bro. When business is constructed, right? This is why. This is why every. This is why regular business is not constructed around black people. What am I missing? What, oh, are, you, wow, what are you missing? Is mm. he's trying to sell me on this shit as as the fact that. If Shakur Stevenson on the damn on the main card, right? Nobody's gonna nobody's gonna watch it. And what I'm selling him is, yes, it will. Because if you got just the undercard that he had on that particular fight, if you are a boxing fan, hell, you could be a casual. A casual means you know at least ten or so boxers, especially the top end ones. So on that undercard. You had Abdullah Mason. He's don't know top him. 10. Don't know him. Because you don't in it in boxing. No. That's why. And you got Davis. Them two right there. They knocked they, they knock their guys out. And they're excited. On top of that, Abdullah Mason is a beast. Look him up, nigga, because you be talking about him next too. Like I said, the difference between them niggas and where um, Shakur Stevens is, number one, contract. Are they exciting? That's yeah, what they, he said. Okay, he but, said the nigga see, beast again, and you, excited. So again, you want to pick. No, I, I'm just... I, I, like the words out of his on, mouth. Yeah, they, they are. Too. They are. I just they asked are. the question because that's what all this just they fucking stem from. Are. are they exciting? Yes they or no? They are. And you're basically now nah, okay. So to so that proves this you was why a long ass. No, this was just a long ass rant. Like I'm no, saying, ain't no fucking long ass we rant. just heard, dude. We've been going on this for about twenty minutes. And you thirty. Stem, and you're... this and this all stem from Cam and May saying this nigga was not as. Entertaining, but when you said the last fight. dude name, you jumped up. He's absolutely exciting. Who's okay. that? Abdul, what was his name? Somebody you don't know. But did right. you say he the was excited? You, you said, he was, you said he was excited. You said he was excited. What's the point I just made? Which you not since y'all want to skip over the shit. I didn't skip anything. I, did, no, I just no, brought no, it all no. the way back to the this beginning. This is the reason why. Hold on, bro. This is the reason why I even came on. I went down this road. He's saying, based on what Mason's saying, he's boring. Because that's a casual. I didn't say he was born. I, I did. See, you're not listening. I said he, Branson. Branson said, based off what Mason is saying, he's boring. So what I'm saying, that's from a casual standpoint of opinion, which he's entitled to. For those of us who knows boxing, what he did was a masterpiece. But y'all don't know that shit because y'all want somebody to get knocked out. Boxing it doesn't work like that all the time. But we, what you're missing, like we can. I got my sorry. hand up. Go I got my hand up. Was that fight entertaining? It was. 
Because not not too many niggas. It down. was not not it was. You know why? Because how many niggas can go without getting hit <laughs> one time? But you just said that the other people fight was entertaining and no, what I, no, with enthusiasm what I said and everything. Was, but when I just asked you about a, that, you see, was like, "Oh, this the was a masterpiece." Why shit goes as long as it does because you niggas. No, there's pick. a no, difference no, no. between masterpiece and entertainment. You want to pick off what I'm saying? Let's listen to it as a, as a whole what I'm talking I just about. Want clarity. I'm giving you clarity. Stop but he keeps he keeps saying this. Follow, he keeps saying the aficionado and the casuals, but the casuals are the most right, important you don't even people. Know, you don't even know who the fuck was on the undercard? I know talking, you're right. So, so what I'm telling you is, this is from a business standpoint, which you don't have no knowledge of. So let me school you right quick. I know when that you, I want to make I'm up all today, the money I can, this, bro. I'm telling you this. You're not. You just prove my point. I know in business I want to make all the money I can. About WrestleMania, he told me. Yo, outside the big name cars, he named everybody that was up under that shit. Why you named that shit? Because you was into it. So because you was into it, even if you didn't want to see the rest of them, you still would by default. Now, because you're not, not a, necessarily. Why, yes, the fuck, bro. Get, how the fuck you know all their names then on the undercar if you're not into the damn because sport? Because he watches wrestling. So what I'm saying is if you take the same energy... Did it for boxing, you would have knew about Abdullah Mason. You would have knew about Davis. So what I'm saying, hold on, follow me. So what I'm saying is, if I'm a promoter, and if I'm putting on somebody that's probably in, in opinions, those fans' eyes, that he's not, he's boring, that it's not entertainment, guess what? I just named you two boxes that I know that people know they're going to come out and see. So guess what? Even if you feel like this person right here is born, you're still going to look at the shit because, why? Wow, these other two niggas up under there. And on a, on a boxing, and if you go to boxing, they have at least seven fights before the main card. I rest my case. Go ahead. Okay, Buddha. Um, Don't yell at me. <laughs> well, don't, hey, don't say, don't say, hey, don't be saying shit talking yelling. about like, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm ranting and shit. I'm like, cause that's that's some sly ass shit too. The chat says you're ranting. Uh huh. The chat says he's ranting. I mean, he's ranting. So so let's get something straight. I mean, we've been talking on this for about thirty five minutes, and this is all I'm trying to say, cause you're trying to. I'm not trying to do nothing. The casual is the most important. I'm, all I'm trying to do, all I'm doing, is, him all I'm doing is defending his point of view. I'm not trying to convince nobody. Let's get that straight. You're downing the casual when they're the most important no, person. All I'm saying, saying is this. You can have with an opinion, every, but if you don't know nothing about the sport, then you're talking silly. That's with, all. With every business setup, and this is, this is as far as I know for promotion in general. You're trying to make all the money Shut you can? Shut the hell up. Okay. I'm just saying. You have <laughs> your main events. Mm -hmm. You have your main closeout, mm -hmm. whatever it is, mm -hmm. right? Right or wrong? Mm-hmm. Primarily, you're selling off the strength of the closeout. Primarily, mm -hmm. that's what the the closeout name is. The big stars they're going to be at the end. Mm -hmm. Everybody that's under or before that, people may or may not know. They may oh shut the fuck up, don't you? And <laughs> God bless America. And this goes like I'm saying to concerts and everything. Any mm -hmm. rap show. That's that's what I'm. Getting Any at. rap show. Any. Especially in Raleigh, mm -hmm. you can go show. to any one of these rap shows. You are gonna have whoever is local. We got local, blah blah blah. The club local. tonight, whatever the superstar is for the night. Before this nigga even gets out here, you are gonna have some niggas you never probably even heard of in your local. life, whether they're hot, entertaining, Correct. amazing, local. trash, Correct. or not. Correct. Whether you know this, and, and this is and this is what I'm saying. You're, you're missing. Or there's a disconnect. I won't even say you're missing, but there's a disconnect. Just because you know the main act doesn't mean you're going to know everybody that's under them. That's why they're called undercards and opening ass and all that. A casual. I'm a casual. Mm -hmm. I'm just a, I casually watch a sport. Exactly. If I see a big name on the card, mm -hmm. closing it out, oh, shit, they're fighting Bet I want to see that. That's the fight I want to see. Mm -hmm. I may not even know anybody else. May have never heard of another soul on the ticket. Okay, and it's that's more common than you think. Okay, it's, not all, not it's all right. people, not all people mm -hmm. function the way that you function. It just because they watch something that they they get it down to a science and a technique and. 
and they will come official. Not, so not, we, not so everybody playing, does it. So like 40 play, minutes. So when we play in a numbers game, because this is what it comes down to, a numbers game. If I'm a promoter or somebody's putting on an event, which you know this shit, right? However much money I put into it, I got to make sure I get that back, right? Yeah. Once I get that back. Bare minimum. What, see, this is, why, minimum. this is why we going on. Once we get, once we recover that money back, right? Everything after that is 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 what we want, what we want right? It's up for That's there. the name of the game, right? So, casuals. That's the where the business, casuals come uh, in. Hold on. Let them finish. Let me finish. Casual. We got to move on. We're going eventually. to casual. The business model doesn't fit y'all. It doesn't. Keep it going, cause if if it, if it was based on if it was based on casuals, the fucking sport would be the That's the craziest shit I've ever heard. So let's keep it going. Okay. Crazy. Let's okay. go. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Okay. After that forty-five minute rant and the chat, rant, five people rant. have said it's a rant. So <laughs> you can't disagree with that many people in the chat. Numbers they said don't it don't fucking rant. Numbers don't matter. Okay. Numbers don't matter. Hold Fuck on, hold on. Let, let, let's move on to sports. 